So Jess, uh, start by telling me how you got interested in photography. Okay. Um, when I was younger, my little sis, my older sister had a, a little point and shoot. It was like a little Olympus point and shoot, mm -hmm. and I would always beg her to use it because um, I saw the pictures that uh, Jerry Sieve took or. Uh, my mom's editor friend would always send us a calendar of pictures that he took, mm -hmm. and uh, my grandma always took pictures. My grandma actually showed me pictures that you took, that he took, mm -hmm. and I, I just saw these, and I was like, I, I want to do that. And so um, when my, si my sister got a different camera, so then she gave me the old one, mm -hmm. so I started using that, and I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It's, it was like a really little floor model from like 2008 mm -hmm. and was it digital yeah it was a little digital camera and I absolutely loved it and I would I started using a like a jeweler's loop you mm -hmm. know that the jewelers use to look at yeah. diamonds and things I started using that in front of the camera to get closer to things it was I just I loved it how old were you at the time uh 12 or 13 okay I th think 12 okay and so I used that for about a year, and then it broke, so I started using my phone to mm -hmm. take pictures, and I could, you could still use the jeweler's loop with that. I was so excited. How did you learn about that? Um, my dad bought me one to use, because I do really little sculpting, so he thought it would be helpful. Oh. And so then I was just looking at it, I was like, I bet I could use this like a lens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it, I started taking pictures of like my my carpet. And it was so yeah. close. Yeah. And then how would you go about um, getting it developed? Did you put it in the computer to see what you got? And well, it was a digital camera, so I could just look at it on oh, the screen. Oh, okay. All right. And did you feel like you were getting better, or were you just kind of experimenting and seeing how things went? Um, uh, after a little while, I kind of started learning like the little tricks and things, and I I, I think I, I started getting better. Mm -hmm. Then I started getting to a, I, I would get so frustrated sometimes because I thought the camera had a lot of lag. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to take a picture for like a year, I tried taking pictures of a bee like while it was in the air. Mm -hmm. And I was so frustrated because I couldn't get it. I, I was like, this is my timing. My timing is off. Mm -hmm. And then I got my phone. The first picture I took, I, I got it. And so I, I was like, oh, it was the first time I realized it's not me always. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I... I started, so, but it was really just a hobby. But mm -hmm. then um, when Herbie gave me this camera, I, mm -hmm. I honestly can't, can't thank him enough. And it's when did he give you that camera? Last summer. And it's a Canon? T Rebel T2i. Okay. It's, okay. I used to take pictures maybe two or three hours a week. Now I'm outside for like four hours in a day and I think I've been outside for an hour and then I come back and I'm like the sun's down. Wow. So it's really made it. And when you go passion. out, do you have something in mind or are you just kind of like, let's just see what we can see and I don't usually have anything in mind and I'll um sometimes I'll end up taking pictures inside a lot because like I was studying for finals and then I ended up completely neglecting <laughs> studying for chemistry because I was like, I bet I could get pictures of a water drop if mm -hmm. I if, and so then I had my lamp set up in the it was so it's moved beyond photography for you that's really artistry when you are like you know thinking about the shots and how you can get the shots and um, making you know making something when there was nothing I mean it's one thing to just go out and capture but to like think about that's really that, kind of artistry there. that's what this took this took me to that level because I I didn't even there's things I didn't even know you could do with a camera like I would see pictures that people did and I was like that's just because their timing is better than yeah. composition but then I got this camera and I was like oh <laughs> there's just me there's other things that I can be doing and it's it's incredible that this is and then how did you find out about the um, carefree gardens contest my grandma had entered it multiple times she got first place she'd gotten on the cover um, so I heard about it from her and she said you should she saw what I did with my little Olympus and she mm -hmm. said you should you should enter so I entered it thinking no way I'm gonna get mm -hmm. in so but I did I, I got in the first time I tried with the the little Olympus was it hard to pick what shot to enter or did you know it uh, yeah it was hard because I I followed a bee around for about an hour that sounds weird <laughs> but, <laughs> but I followed around taking pictures of it and there's a bunch that were kind of similar and it was mm -hmm. the the one that I actually entered was one that I didn't 
I had a different one in mind, but that one got messed up. So, um, and then what did you think of the other shots you saw, like when the when the book came out and the oh, calendar? Oh, wow, they were, they're, they're awesome. And there was one last from the most recent calendar, I remember, where there were, like, two birds, and they were, like, fighting with each other. Mm -hmm. And then on the first one, someone got a picture of a hummingbird, and it was just, it was beautiful. I don't know why that wasn't first place, that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And I was very intimidated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But now, so this will be the third year that you've entered, yeah. right? Okay. Maybe a winner this year. I don't maybe, know. maybe. I don't know. I got to see how everything plays out today. Uh huh. What's your be What's your favorite time to shoot? Like, you know, morning, afternoon, early evening. Um, I don't really have a favorite time. It just depends. It. I like it better when it's cloudy. That's mm -hmm. my only preference. I know. I know our photographers like that too. And like overcast, they never have a problem with that. If you say. Yeah. But, well, that's good. Okay, and then, um, so, now what school do you go to? Cactus Shadows. And what grade are you in? Oh, I'm in 10th grade. 10th grade. And it, do they offer photography? There's a, year, you can take pictures for yearbook, but that's not really the type of photography I want to be doing. So tell me about your grandmother. Like, so she's the photographer, the family photographer. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Um, she's, she's, she has got, she sold her pictures. For a while, she made cards and sold her pictures. She and so she helps me with. She gives me tips sometimes. Well, she used to. Now, now I sometimes give her tips. Good. But, um, mostly just on how her camera works. Yeah. She. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of it. I mean, those books are like this thick to like realize yeah. how to use them. And then, do you study any websites, or do you just study photos, or how do you go about like? Uh, I don't. I don't really study anything. I'm. I used to say I was an instinctive photographer, which <laughs> is good. kind of a euphemism for I don't take <laughs> classes. I like that. That's good. I'm going to say that sometime. I'm an ex instinctive short story writer. <laughs> People are like, like, I don't know what I'm doing. I just wing it, and sometimes it turns out good. Well, that's good. And then, so what are your hopes, kind of? You want to continue on, and do you see yourself, like, focusing on that? Or right now you're just having fun? Where are you at? If it could work out, I would I would love to do this as a career when I'm older. I know that's not entirely realistic because it's a cutthroat career. Like mm -hmm. the arts are really risky. Mm -hmm. But if if I if I if I could make that work, well, I was talking to Herbie and we were talking about how video and um, photos they're just everything and everywhere now. I mean, yeah. people want to want a visual. So I don't know. I think it could go somewhere. You just don't even know like in five, ten years, but that you have a head start and knowledge of that, that would be really cool. So, okay, and then um, who are your favorite photographers? You, I bet your grandma's on the list. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. and then um, Jerry Sieve is incredible. I've, I've talked to him a few times, which was, that, that was for me, like, meeting a celebrity, because I've watched his, his work for a long time in mm -hmm. um, Arizona Republic, not Arizona Republic, Arizona Highways? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Arizona Highways. Mm -hmm. And uh, Peter Lick, I saw his gallery in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And my mom's editor friend that I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. his name was Mike Durr. Mm -hmm. He was incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, I, I see Herbie's pictures all the time. Not too Those shabby. Are, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. He's just good. Sometimes I get him to shoot stuff for me too, like for the paper, and say so send them to me. Okay, um, let's see. What are you kind of into now? Are you experimenting with framing or color, or is there any particular thing that you're, you know, uh, I know the B shot was very important. Um, anything else that you're kind of focusing on now? Um, I am fascinated with like water drops, and like I took like a fast succession of pictures of the water and then how it, mm -hmm. it I, I love doing that. I like, I've started doing action shots mostly because I can now. Yeah. Because I have the faster shutter speed. I didn't even know that they had fast shutter speeds. Mm -hmm. So I was taking pictures of like, you know, when you light a lighter and then the fuel go, does that thing where it like sparks and stuff. Well, I'm definitely going to look at it now when I, when, I, when I light my candles. I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. So I got pictures of that, that second right there. It? Mm -hmm. And then I was, I was fascinated by it. I was taking pictures for like an hour just of that because I was so... Do you find that you see things that you wouldn't have seen before now that you're doing photography that like you look at the world a different way or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think more and more I'll 
see the details and things. Like, I've been, I, even as I'm looking around here, I, I see what I want to take pictures of. Mm -hmm. It's distracting. So, um, how are you keep? How are you doing, like, keeping up with your homework and your other life and, you know, now that photography's taking up a lot of it? Oh, I'm, I'm doing fine. I don't, <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm in basketball, which is, oh, I, I don't neglect everything else. I've, I'm taking AP and honors classes. Okay, and, good. and your parents are behind this. Um, oh, definitely. That's good. And then, um, so you have digital, so how do you, do you make prints of everything or just prints of some things or... I, I don't really make prints all that often. Okay. I, I will now more because I got a Costco um, account. Okay. So I'm going to start doing that now. I want to get canvas prints to hang in my room because mm -hmm. I think that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. But I don't print very much. Sometimes I will because I have, like, these cards that you can put the photos in. Mm -hmm. and I yeah, I, it's expensive, but, yeah, that's good. And then you can make gifts for your friends.